Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Um, at least it is when I'm putting this video up. Welcome to the Having Fun Making Jewelry Collaboration 2020. Uh, there's just a handful of us. And this month our theme was ocean or beach themed and uh, colors, ocean or beach themed colors. Let me see. Um, and we had two optional challenges. One was to incorporate wood beads and the other was to make an anklet. I did not do either of the options this time. I usually try and do them, but I had used wood beads, I think two months ago. And so I chose not to do that. And anklets I have, I have difficulty with. Um, and I had something in mind for an anklet and then I couldn't find my things that I wanted to use for that. So I ended up doing something entirely different and I'll just show you. It is a chunky charm. I haven't made one in a while. So this is it. And I think it came out pretty good. It, it has seven charms in it. It has flip flops, a beach chair, an anchor, a sand castle, a lighthouse, a ship's wheel. I feel like, oh, and a turtle. I knew there was another one. I have seven charms in here, sea turtle. So, and most of these beads are either from my personal stash or um, actually the majority of them are from a Jesse James beads collection called, oh, I don't know, Coastal Beauty. It was a mini mix, so you can see I use quite a few, but I still have... Some left. Now, some of them I didn't pull out because they were more grays and stuff and I didn't want to use them. Or they were flowers, which I didn't want to use. Or they were more gold, where I felt they'd stand alone better for earrings and things. And then I also had a strand, a Jesse James bead strand. I don't know the name of it, um, but it's it says it's style number, oh gosh, 20. I still have these four beads also left besides those four, and but I used everything else. And I also have these two still out of the other, and I'm, I just thought those would make really pretty earrings. These two little spacers were out of this, out of the other, um, what I say, Coastal Beauty, this one. These were out of this one, and these two flat beads were out of here but then these other ones were out of this one and but i put them aside because i think i want to make those earrings there's i think they're classy let me know what you think and these i just love i, I might end up with those for me i don't know they're they're odd you know they're again they're i think they're glass but they're like a gemstone they have variation in them i'm not sure you never know when you get Jesse James beads because they always tell you it's a mix of glass. Like these are druzy, but I don't know if they're man-made or, or not. And I know that one's an acrylic bead. So you get a mix of glass, natural, pearls, acrylic, gemstones, that kind of stuff. Um, which is one thing I really don't like about mixes because I kind of like to know what I'm using like and now I know these are shell and they were they were in there as well but I only got two of them so yeah just a, a mix and also there were these little tassels in so there's two of these turquoisey blue on here and two of these leather uh, now that's the other thing they were all those were all in gold um, findings already but I mixed them in anyway because some of the beads like like these which I have some of in here right here because that's like the sand so I figured it would be all right even though the rest of it is silver and this um what is that from that is from the jewelry shop which I think is Hobby Lobby yes Hobby Lobby so I got this at Hobby Lobby in 2017 actually but I have that in my jewelry business inventory so it's a mixture of in my personal beads the, the ones that are my personal beads are like these um, these 
glass pearls and a couple of these little white beads here and these silver beads. But most of the rest of the stuff is business inventory, including the Jesse James beads. So that is my make for ocean or, um, gosh, I can't, my memory is going. Ocean or beach color. So I used a little bit of both, ocean and beach colors. Now I did have another charm left, which was a big old dolphin, but I couldn't figure out. I'll save him, I think, for another another project because unless I would move these other charms and make him the focal point, I just, and that's really cute too because it says best friends on it. Oh, this is, well, that won't work because I don't have the other half. This is one of those, I think, those things that you, like a friendship thing where you have the other half too and they fit together or something. That's what it looks like. Because otherwise, why would it say best friends unless the other the other part of it was there, right? So I'm kind of glad I didn't put that on now that I saw that. So I don't know. I feel like, I think it's okay. It's pretty chunky. There was a, one or two spots like here. I think I need to add one or two little beads, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So that's my project for this month, guys. That's all I have. That took me a couple hours to do because I wire wrap all the beads onto the chain. Um, just like, like that's a wire wrap um, onto the clasp. And so these are all wire wrapped onto the chain. And there, there's pretty many on there. So... Yeah, uh, the only things that's not wire wrapped on is the charms and the tassels. They're put on with jump rings, but everything else is wire wrapped directly onto the chain. Now that said, uh, it was chained from my personal stash, which means it probably came from Bargain Bead Box or Bead Box Bargains, and that chain is. Uh, what we call an open chain, meaning it opens like a jump ring too. So it's that's a weak point is all I'm saying. So I actually doubled up the chain for part of it um, up in the top part here to hopefully add some strength and put some of the beads through the double chain. So we shall see. I don't know. I think these beads are cool too. Anyway, that's it guys. I said that already. I will talk to you again uh, soon. I don't remember. I think I have a collab tomorrow. Yes, I do. A card monthly card collab tomorrow, which is Sunday the 19th. And then after that, I think nothing, not till Tuesday night live. And I need that time to make some crafts for things coming up towards the end of the month. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Be sure to check out all the other participants because I always get inspired um, by watching what they are making. So I hope you do too. All right, guys, take, take care. Hugs, love, and peace.